Welcome to our video about the word product. Any item that is offered for sale can be referred to as a product. It may be something tangible, such as a smartphone or a pair of shoes, or intangible, such as a computer program or a streaming service. There are two main types of products, durable and non-durable goods. Examples of durable goods include laptops, cars, and furniture. Milk, meat, and apples are examples of non-durable goods. A durable good is designed to be long-lasting, whereas a non-durable good is intended for short-term use. In the vast marketplace of exchange, we often hear about products and services. Though they may seem similar, they play distinct roles in the world of commerce. Products, in this context, are tangible, you can touch them, store them, and sometimes even taste them. They are the smartphones in your pockets, the cars you drive, the books on your shelves, and the food that you eat. Services, on the other hand, are intangible. They encompass the experiences and expertise provided to you, like the skill of a hairdresser, the guidance of a consultant, or the care of a doctor. While products can sit silently on a shelf, services are enacted, dynamic, and often personalized. Understanding this difference is crucial because it influences marketing strategies, consumer relationships, and the economic frameworks that govern trade and industry. In everyday conversation, the term product often takes on a broader meaning, extending beyond physical items to represent the total value offered to customers. For instance, when asked about their product, a hairdressing salon might respond, we provide haircuts. But what does this really mean? It's not just about the actual cut. It's the entire experience, the ambience of the salon, the skill and attentiveness of the stylist, and the confidence you feel when you look in the mirror afterward. In such contexts, product embodies a core benefit, an experience, or a solution provided to the customer. This abstract use of the term product highlights the holistic value propositions businesses attempt to offer. Every product experiences a life cycle, much like nature's seasons. Initially, there is the introduction, which is akin to a seed's first sprout. Then growth, the phase of rapid expansion. Phase number three is maturity, where growth stabilizes as the product fully blooms. And lastly, it goes through the decline, when, despite once being in full bloom, it begins to wilt in the face of new seeds or changing environments. This cycle mirrors the product's journey through market trends, consumer preferences, and technological advancements. Consider a scenario where two identical cups of coffee are placed in front of you, but only one bears a recognizable logo. This scenario underscores the influence of branding. Branding is a critical aspect of a product's identity. It goes beyond just a name or a visual element. It represents the narrative, ethos, and aspirations behind a product. Effective branding creates a unique space in the consumer's mind, establishing credibility and cultivating customer allegiance. It turns simple interactions into meaningful connections, significantly impacting consumer choice and business success. What prompted you to choose one product over another? That is, why did you choose this product and not that one? The answer lies in perceived value, a symphony of quality, price, convenience, and emotion. When a product aligns with our needs, solves our problems, or makes us happy, we perceive high value. Customer satisfaction is the heart of this perception. It is the delightful surprise of an added feature, the reassurance of stellar customer service, and the shared pride in ethical practices. When we feel heard, understood, and appreciated, satisfaction turns into powerful advocacy for the product. A product range, also known as a product line, refers to a set of related products manufactured or sold by a single company. 
These products typically function in similar ways, are sold to the same customer groups, are marketed through the same types of outlets, or fall within given price ranges. A company may have multiple product ranges if it serves various sectors. For example, a cosmetic company's product range may include skincare, hair care, and makeup products. Within the skincare range, the company might offer a variety of products such as cleansers, toners, moisturizers, and serums, each formulated for different skin types or concerns. A recall is a request to return, exchange, or replace a product after the discovery of safety issues or product defects that might endanger the consumer or put the seller at risk of legal action. The recall is an effort to limit liability for corporate negligence and improve or avoid damage to publicity while providing consumers with corrective action. Recalls often involve products that could potentially harm the user's health or safety, including food, toys, pharmaceuticals, vehicles, and electronics. Typically, the producer or distributor offers a refund, replacement, or repair to the consumers. Product placement is a marketing strategy where a company arranges for its products to be featured in various forms of media content, such as movies, television shows, music videos, or video games. The aim is to promote the product by making it visible in a natural, subtle way, rather than using direct advertising. In the 1982 movie, E.T., Hershey invested $1 million to feature its Reese's Pieces peanut butter candies. Hershey's marketing executives reported that the investment was definitely worth it. The term, product, is versatile. It forms the first part of various compound words in the world of business. Here are six examples. A product recall refers to the retrieval of defective goods from consumers offering compensation. A product line consists of related products marketed under a single brand. A product range is the total assortment of products a business offers. Product life cycle refers to the stages a product goes through from introduction to decline. Product placement involves featuring products discreetly or subtly in entertainment media. Product development is the process of bringing a new product to market. Here are six more compound terms that start with the word product. Product differentiation is all about making a product distinguishable from competitors. A product manager is a person responsible for product strategy and roadmap. This person is a marketing executive. Product endorsement occurs when a celebrity or known figure promotes a product. A product launch occurs when we introduce something to the market for the first time. Product packaging refers to elements of product presentation from protection to branding. A product portfolio is the complete set of products and services that a company offers. Products are dynamic components within broader systems, significantly influencing societal habits, cultural norms, economic dynamics, and historical developments. For example, automobiles introduced new dimensions of mobility, smartphones transformed the paradigms of communication, and renewable energy technologies are at the forefront of sustainable initiatives. Products reflect the evolutionary path of human innovation, embodying the responses to challenges, markers of achievement, and the tangible manifestations of societal goals. Therefore, when you interact with a product and recognize its context, it represents a specific answer to a need, an innovative leap, and a segment of ongoing progress. What current products will form part of the next major milestone in human development? Might they be artificial intelligence, robotics, and automation? 